Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to work on number 119 on the FTC K-6 through practice test. This is a great problem for elementary and middle school teachers that are preparing for their teacher certification exams. Doesn't matter if you're a teacher in Florida, you could also be a teacher in Massachusetts or, Cal or uh, New York or California. The core math on these uh, set of problems and in this problem may appear on your test, so it's a really good idea to understand those core concepts. Now this problem here uses a little bit of algebra and a little bit of number sense and operations. So let's review it. Carmen and Alicia are playing a game. Carmen said, I'm thinking of a number. If I divide it by 5 and subtract 154 from the quotient, the answer is 6. I'm thinking of which number? What should Alicia say? Now I said number sense and operations. As part, that's one of the that's some of the skills that are used in this problem. How did I get that? When we think of number, number sense and operations, there's that operations part that sticks out. We have addition, subtraction, division, multiplication. We have words like quotient, subtraction, right? Those are, that, that's our number sense component. Division, divide. So these are embedded in this problem. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to subtract 154, and we have some sort of division that's going on here. Let's just clarify the word quotient. Quotient is a result when we take two values, like A, and I divide it by B. Whatever, whatever happens here, whatever the answer is, we call this the quotient. Now, let's say I was taking A, and I multiplied it by B. We call that the product. All right, so that's just some number sense and operations vocabulary that gets thrown out. In this problem, we're going to be using this model here. Now, I also said it had to do with algebra. Well, where's the algebra? Well, in order to solve this problem, we're going to have to find an unknown value. We're going to call that x. And whenever you have an unknown value and you're trying to figure it out, we're probably going to work with some sort of equation that's going to get to that unknown value. And those uh, equations with x values, those variables, are algebraic equations. So whenever, if you had something like, let's say, x plus 1 equals 3, we have an algebraic equation. An algebraic equation has a combination of variables and constants, and it's an equation because it has an equal sign. So there's going to be some algebraic manipulation involved in this problem. So now I'm going to go back, now that I have that in mind, I'm going to go back and read every sentence uh, and pull out the key information. Here's the first one. I'm thinking of a number. We don't know what it is, so let's call it x. If I divide x by 5, there's my uh, division problem, x divided by 5, the quotient, whatever comes out of, you know, the result of dividing x by 5, if I subtract 154 from the quotient, there's my subtraction, you get 6. Um, the answer is equal to 6. Well, is is code word for equal. So I pull all those pieces um, out of my number sense and operations problem and I actually get this really juicy algebraic equation that now I can use to solve for x. Now we, we really go head into the algebra portion of this uh, problem and that's solving for x. I gotta remember to keep everything balanced so here's a minus 154. I'm gonna add 154 to both sides, keeping the equation balanced. Continue it, I get x divided by 5 is equal to 160. All right, I want to solve for x, so I'm going to multiply by 5 over 1 on both sides. You could just say multiply by 5, but 5 over 1 means the same thing. These cancel each other out. You're left with x is equal to 160 times 5, and I never want to risk it. I never want to risk it because it's so easy at this point to make careless mistakes. So just do, grab a scrap paper right now and do this out. You know, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 6 is 30, carry the 3, 5 times 1 is 5, plus the 3 is 8. I don't want to make a mistake so close. You know, I'm almost at the finish line and I make a careless mistake. It's easy to do and it will really throw off your numbers. So x is 800. This missing number is 800. It's not enough, team, to get the answer 800. You have to go a little further, and you have to you have to go that extra step and, and actually 
double check. And the double check is you just now substitute in for your x 800. So let's think about it. What's What would you get if you did 800, 800 divided by 5? What would the quotient be of that? Well, 800 divided by 5 would get you to 160. So the if you subtract 154 from your quotient there, you're going to get 6. All right, team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. I hope you found this video helpful. Have an amazing and wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.